I didn't really grow up, you know, being exposed to a lot of art or those questions of, of artistic sensibilities or aesthetics judgments or any of that. I didn't have to answer those questions of whether a piece of artwork worked or not. So when I got to college and was studying this stuff and it was like, does this work? And I was like, well, what is it supposed to do? Where do you put the key in? When I started making steam engines, I liked that you could answer that very clearly and concisely whether it was working or not. I always liked that rule of having something definitely work. And uh, a steam engine, it can work poorly or splendidly or oddly or, you know, persistently or cranky or, you know, all this kind of like, they have these little personalities, but they still work in the end, you know. I like the, f the sort of fluid motion that a lot of machining kind of requires. A lot of the, the manual machining, I'll call it. Computerized machining is not fluid at all. It's push a button, stand back. But the manual machining, there's a lot of fluid motion that I just seem to have. You're working with the machine, not you're working the machine. It shows in the work that you get out of it. The pursuit of precision and of using your skills that you're developing it often means a lot of those quirks are disregarded because they're not right, they're, they're not precise, you know. So uh, I think at this point in my career, it's I've learned how to do the precise and the meticulous and the, I need to go back and retrieve some of the, some of the Fred Flintstone, you know. You can use a machine tool the way you use a wood chisel. And people don't really realize that, is that it requires a finesse. It requires feeling the work. You can feel, you know, the, just how much to cut and how much to, to curve. You're fabricating a, a, a convenient story in some ways. When you grow up, if you ever do, it's kind of discovering how that works and, or why it works. And I, I think that was kind of what brought me back to it or kind of made me look at it in a different way and look at it in a way that's like, oh, I'll never get tired of this, you know.